CO2 insulflator goes through its self-test, you're going to want to select high flow. You're going to want to check and make sure that your gas is full. If this gas was saying red, um, it would mean your bottle is empty and I would not start a case. You're going to want to adjust your internal abdominal pressure down to 10 and you're going to want to turn your flow up to 10. So you'll have an internal abdominal pressure of 10 and you'll have a flow of 10 and you'll have a water or an, a CO2 bottle that is full. You'll use the hose barb to connect your CO2 tubing to it. I would always keep the hose barb attached to the tubing that goes to your CO2 insulator. Thank you. Pass off your camera cable. You'll unscrew the cap. You're looking for the blue arrow to be up and you're looking to plug it into where your camera says camera with an arrow pointing down. As you plug that in, your color bars will disappear and you'll have a pretty picture whatever your camera is looking at. Cable, the doctor will pass off the male end. You'll plug it directly into the light source. You'll feel it click a little bit as it goes in. And then when they're ready, hit the green button to turn that on. It's an extremely bright light, so it, if they're not using the light at the end of the case, make sure that you turn the light off. Vessel sealer, you want, when you plug this in, you want to have this little button facing towards 12 o'clock. That will go in. Your screen will go from connect device to check to then ready, and now it's ready to seal.